Good afternoon, everybody. So we're, uh, it's good that we got a 20 minute cap so we can have the lunch earlier. So I'll start with the, um, uh, with Vietnam because I'm also president of Vietnam Chamber. So I'd like to start with Vietnam because that's the fastest growing country in the world, I think now. Uh, the, it's uh, even uh, growing faster than India. And I know all of you are keen on developing trade relations uh, outside of India. So we would uh, concentrate on uh, each country uh, and the core sectors of these countries. So Vietnam is a very agro-based country and uh, they are number one, number two in many agro products like coffee, tea, rice. But surprisingly, they are number one in hard drives and number two in mobile phones. Also, the EV, they are the second or third largest EV manufacturer in the world, surprisingly. So there, one EV company called, I think, Winfast, they are entering India. So there is a big scope for our Indian industry to go to Vietnam and promote um, their products. So uh, I will start with uh, um, what do you think Indian companies can do to build their relation with Vietnam? Do you think visiting them Vietnam is a good, taking part in the trade show is good, or uh, meeting there your people when they come here? How would you like to recommend Indian companies to do business with Vietnam? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to say, uh, would like to express my uh, sincerely thank for the organizer of BOL. Uh, so I, uh, I am here in the business forum, and uh, I was so very happy to meet you in this uh, business forum. Uh, for for Vietnam market, uh, now we are very strongly emerging, and and uh, we. Uh, <coughs> Uh, now we would like to do business uh, strongly connection with the uh, India market uh, and uh, I myself uh, go India with uh, many Vietnam delegates and we can see the very potential uh, partnership between India and Vietnam company uh, in many fields of sector like uh, industrial machinery or agri-foods or uh, uh, seafood, uh, textile garment, many many sectors. Uh, some of the sectors we buy uh, raw material and ingredients from uh, India and we uh, finish product in Vietnam and re-export to another country and uh, the other sector we sell some kind of product to India. So very potential for business between two sides. We not only do in Vietnam, but also we uh, do business in Southeast Asia to Korea, to Japan, to Australia, EU, Canada, and US. So now like a global market, everybody very close together. And uh, we have very, very uh, good condition to do business with each other because Vietnam and India also uh, have free trade agreement and the tax between the two countries uh, very moderate and very good tax and uh, for the business from India if you would like to go to Vietnam you can take part in the trade fair and exhibition it's one of the channel otherwise you can be to be meeting one on one in Vietnam uh, my association and my center also uh, receive many delegates from India uh, and we do matchmaking one-on-one -on -one very effectively uh, for you. In the exhibition you can find many many visitors but for one-on-one -on -one meeting you can specify specific your partner and it's more effectively for you and uh, of course we have to prepare very carefully before your trip from Vietnam and India, from India to Vietnam at the moment, we have many direct flights from Mumbai, from uh, Bangalore, from Ahmedabad, direct flight to Hanoi, to Ho Chi Minh, to Da Nang. So uh, you can feel very comfortable when you travel to Vietnam with very reasonable price.
not not expensive, so easy to fly, travel between the two countries. Yeah, thank you very much. That was very comprehensive, and uh, yes, I did forget to mention that uh, Vietnam is uh, reaching on the, on the top three or four countries in the field of garments. So India can have some kind of a complementary relation with them, uh, and also in the fishing industry. We export a lot of fish to Vietnam, and Vietnam also exports a lot of fish to India. Yes. So now I will go to Indonesia, uh, which is a, one of our most travelled countries by Indians. We all love to go to Indonesia, um, especially Bali. So um, please say something about your country and how we can increase our business with you. Okay, thank you very much. Namaste, and uh, in in Bahasa, I, I I would like to say uh, Selamat Siang to all of you, uh, distinguished uh, businessmen from from India, especially from from Pune. Well, uh, I'm sure that all of you ha has known that uh, India and Indonesia share uh, many similarities in culture and also his, in history, and I'm sure based on this uh, lot of similarities. I uh, I confidence that uh, the relations of the uh, trade and economy between the two countries can be strengthened can be strengthened in the future. So I would like to say uh, a small thing about the economic uh, opportunities that, uh, as uh, if you look at the data in the face of global economic challenges, India and Indonesia have demonstrated resilience and growth, and uh, there is a lot of uh, a lot of the. Uh, Opportunities between uh, two, the two countries, especially if you look at the uh, uh, the data that uh, uh, bilateral trade between India and Indonesia in uh, 2022 has reached 32 billion US dollar, and uh, the two countries has a trajectory uh, uh, reached that uh, the target for the uh, two years from now into 2025, hopefully. 20 billion US dollars. So there is the uh, a huge opportunities uh, for these two countries to strengthen this uh, cooperation. And I can say to you that uh, this growth is driven by uh, uh, from Indonesia. We uh, we export crude palm oil, coal, minerals, and rubber, and vice versa. Indonesia import from from India, such as the refined petroleum products, maize. Uh, and uh, telecommunication equipment. And uh, besides that, and also I would like to say about the investment prospect in Indonesia. Right now, uh, there is a various sectors that India or run development lines with Indonesian priorities, such as in healthcare, renewable energy, and digital innovations. And uh, in Indonesia, we have a rich of the nickel resources, and uh, from the nickel, this is this is the uh, great opportunities to, to develop electric vehicle sector, and also this is offering Indian companies to uh, to invest uh, with uh, Indone with uh, Indonesian investors. And uh, part of the uh, our uh, Indonesian, Indonesian government efforts to to develop uh, electric vehicle sectors. Nowadays, uh, India is on a transformative journey towards clean energy transitions, and uh, in this base, uh, Indo Indonesian government invite Indian companies to explore this sector potential, particularly in downstream nickel industries. Indonesia, as the world largest producer of nickel, is well positioned to drive the production of lithium batteries for electric vehicles. A move that uh, I'm sure that this move. Promotional substantial economic growth, and uh, I would like also uh, in in this opportunity to to inform you that uh, next week, uh, the, uh, in from 18 until uh, 20 of October, there will be Trade Expo Indonesia 2023, and uh, I'm pleased to extend invitation to each one of you to participate in this expo. Last year. Last year, even in 2022, there is a substantial participation from from India, and I would like to inform you that uh, from the participation of the Indian businessmen in, uh, in trade, trade, trade Expo Indonesia, uh, 
there was business deals worth of the 1.5 billion and uh, this number is the uh, uh, the biggest during the trade, ex trade expo Indonesia in 2022 and the second is from China and rest and uh, from other countries and uh, for, for the uh, Trade Expo Indonesia 2023, there is the uh, diverse range of business sectors, including manufacturing, healthcare, and digital services. And uh, one more data from the Trade Expo Indonesia, this is the platform for business leaders, entrepreneurs, and investors to explore opportunities for partnership and strengthen trade relations. Last year, last year uh, in, in the year of participants, it 420 business entrepreneurs, and uh, this year, hopefully, around uh, around um, almost reach uh, 600 participants from from India. I think that is the uh, my short information about the opportunities to have a business deal between India and Indonesia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Madhup. Uh, Dr. Bharat, thank you. Dr. Bharat, uh, uh, you you have you're doing your consultancy and you are aware of it. So, what do you say uh, to all our Indian entrepreneurs about how they can increase their international trade? Yeah, so uh, I'll I'll touch upon Africa as a continent. Uh, so, first thing is Africa is not South Africa. A lot of uh, uh, people I meet uh, confuse Africa with South Africa. Africa is 54 different countries with 54 different policy environments and 54 different cultures. And uh, if you, just to understand the enormity of Africa, if you put India, China, the US, the Eastern Europe and the Western Europe together, that's the land size of Africa. 60% uh, of the world's arable land, about 70% of the world's uh, platinum, uh, say half of world's cobalt, Every lot of resources in Africa. Uh, about seven out of uh, ten top performing economies in the world are from Africa, and uh, that that makes that makes Africa as the last frontier, if I call it, uh, for business and trade. Uh, we have seen Africa resurgent in last uh, two decades. We have seen Africa becoming one of the prominent destinations. Uh, the trade of India with Africa has touched close to 100 billion dollars, which is huge. A uh, lot of opportunities into agriculture equipments, agriculture implements, inputs, uh, healthcare products, uh, even, even into um, affordable housing is one of the major areas where a lot of work is being done. Uh, Agro-processing is another area where, which is taking up. So a lot of opportunities. What we benefit as Indians is, uh, we, I, we call it as the AAA technology, the affordable, adaptable and acceptable technology for Africa. We have gone through the same evolution process uh, in our technologies as the Africans are going through. So, and I'll just end it with an anecdotal uh, story. We had a group of about 40 African uh, businessmen into uh, Indore, which is my hometown. And we took them to industry visit. We looked, took them to a few processing industries. Uh, one of the equipment, which was very basic, uh, one of the lady looked at it and said, how, how, how much does this instrument cost? And this was a very basic instrument which was, which was fabricated within the same city. So I said, this is roughly around $500. May, might be and another transportation cost added to it. So I said, oh my God, can I buy it right now? Because I was going to import this from Italy at a price of around uh, $7,000. So that's, that, that, that's the uh, advantage that we have. Uh, Italian products do not know how, what, what uh, power outages. Our products know it. So, uh, morning somebody was talking about Jugaad and uh, I always say this, what, what we call as Jugaad, the world knows as innovation. So, I think that's something that makes us uh, a preferred partner for Africa. Lot of opportunities and lot of, uh, uh, say, uh, lot of open landscape for business uh, there. Thank you.